Hey guys, so today I'm back with another dragon shapeshifter. Okay, this time I'm doing a male character because I really wanted to play with like lighter colors. So I didn't really do like heavy colors on this one. For him, I made it that his skin was pure white so that way I could play around with that. Um, a lot of my dragons, I tried to color them in, like color their skin. So I kind of avoided doing like just white colors for them so I decided to do like the lightest skin tone possible for a dragon so I did white and then I'm just shading him in with like this gray that I have this technically isn't the lightest shade of gray that I have but a lot of my light grays are actually running out and I need to go buy some more so yeah um so bear with me this is what I have for now um but yeah, I don't know what type of pose I was going for. I was kind of doing like a saluting pose or like it was super hot. So it was super bright for his eyes and stuff like that. So yeah, um, for his eye, one of them, I made it that his eye has like a scar injury on it. So that's why it looks like that. Like it looks like it's closed and it it looks like he's winking, but he's not, but I did draw a scar on it. It will be more visible once I color that portion in for you guys to see. But yeah, I just went around shading everything with the gray as much as possible. I really wanted to play with lighter colors, so this was kind of my opportunity to do so. Um, yeah, I didn't draw his tail for this one. Because I wanted to do a giant with big wings, so I ended up focusing on the wings and the horns. I kind of went for like generic looking horns to be honest for this one. So it's just two really big horns on his head and that's it. Um, nothing super special. And then for his hair, I wanted to go with natural colors. So I actually went and colored in his hair brown. I know that's more of like a human thing, having like brown hair or like earthy tones for hair. So, but I really want to play, wanted to play around with it. Um, he has the most natural hair compared to any dragon shape shifter that I drew so far. Most of my dragon shape shifters are very colorful. So yeah. He looks more natural and a bit more human if you think about it, so yeah. I really wanted to do like a brown hair style just because I don't normally do brown shading a lot. Like when it comes to like the darker tones, I don't really choose brown as like a hair color. So I decided to do that instead. He has short hair because a lot of the times I do draw males with longer hair. So this is kind of like a medium length for hair for guys. So I wanted to go for like a short aesthetic for him. And then I'm just shading everything in as much as possible for, like, the brown. I use, like, three different shades for each hairstyle. So, yeah, I did add, like, darker tones to it, too. For this dragon, I wanted, like, a friendly personality. He's not, like, super fierce or ferocious. He's more of, like, this laid-back character who's just, like, super muscular. Um... For his clothing, I decided to do a tank top, but then I switched the collar to like a Chinese style collar for like Chinese clothing. To be honest, I didn't really know what I wanted first, but when I drew the tank top, I realized that's a lot of the aesthetic of a lot of dragon shapeshifters that I draw. They normally have like tank tops and like sweaters and stuff like that. So I thought I would go for like more of a Chinese aesthetic by putting on like that higher collar on it instead of making it that he's like just wearing a tank top i feel like that's my go-to for any muscular character drawing just because it's super simple to do and this time i decided to give him a belt because 
I normally don't put belts on my own characters that I make, so I wanted to actually incorporate a belt in there because a lot of characters that I like in video games and like anime do wear belts constantly, so I thought it would be nice to add that detail. For his shirt, originally I was going to keep it white or I was going to color it in black, but then I thought that's kind of too generic and I normally go for those colors when like I'm lazy. Like, you know when you can't think of a color to do, so you just go for those colors. So yeah, so I decided to do a tan um, shirt instead. However, this marker was running out of ink, so I switched to a lighter tone, and it's more noticeable that there are different colors that I use to color in, but that's fine. I'm just going to say this sure had like some sort of fading effect with the color. It looks kind of like intentional. So I'm just going to make it that it was intentional that his shirt had like a lighter color on like the chest portion of it. So yeah, but you can see here like it's obvious that the shades are a bit different. So I used a different um, shading for, so for the lighter part, I used the darker marker to shade it. And then for the actual, um, Darker parts, I used a light gray to shade instead, so that way there's more contrast between different shading. So I'm just gonna make it that it was meant to be like that, even though it was more so I didn't have really... Like, I haven't purchased any markers recently, so that's why I am running out of ink for some of them. And for his pants, I just made it black because I don't know. I did so much light colors and earthy tone colors that I just wanted to go with that. So yeah, that's basically it for this dragon. He's just a friendly dragon who has a scar on his face. Um, doesn't get into fights that often for his character. I'm just gonna make it that it's like that. But yeah, that's basically it. I didn't really write a backstory for this one or think of one yet, so... But it's kind of fun to just draw different aesthetics, and I wanted to do a character that had a scar on his face, just because I haven't done that a lot recently. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I like how the pink stands out more on him, just like the blush and everything that I drew for like the nose area and his mouth just because um, normally for some of the other characters I've been drawing it's harder to see that so this one makes it stand out more. I really like focusing on the muscle details for when drawing guy characters just because normally I remember before in high school when I was drawing characters my proportions were really off like people would be really skinny but there would be like no muscle definition or any like curved lines so now that I am working on that I want it to be like super detailed in that way so yeah that's something that I always love to practice that's why most of my characters now have like muscle on them If you guys have any requests for like any anime or gaming characters or any characters at all that you like, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll definitely try to draw them and search up references. Um, I haven't gotten any requests so far, but like it's been a while since I have gotten any. So if you guys have any, just let me know and then I'll try to do it right away. Um, yeah, and... That's basically it for this video. I will leave links in my description box below if you want to see my social media. I will be posting all of the process work for this guy. I still have not gotten a name for him yet, but probably once I upload this video, I'll like put a name in the title of it.
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And check out my drawings playlist to see other dragon shapeshifters. I know I haven't done them in a long time. Um, but on Monday, I did upload... Well, it's technically Sunday. I did upload a new one. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!